Good morning, scientists. This is Miss Nguyen, and we are exploring our backyard today. We are going to do a little bit of um, solid, liquid, and gas, um, and then we are going to uh, do an experiment. The questions, the science questions we are exploring today is what takes up more space, a solid and a liquid or a gas? So today we are going to combine a solid, which is baking soda, okay, a liquid. Today we're gonna use vinegar and we are going to compare if these two combine takes up more space than a gas is created. Okay, and before we go into our experiment, we're just going to do a little bit of review for the three states of matter, okay? Three states of matter that we learned in third grade is solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, solids. Okay, solids are things that you can hold, and it has its own shape. Okay, for example, that's a solid. That's a solid. My lounge chair is a solid. I have my fan over there is a solid. The tree is a solid. Liam's sense box is a solid. We have a lot of things around us, and these things don't change. They are in, they have the same shape. Okay, this lounge chair doesn't change shape unless it's go through some kind of chemical change. But they they say solid. And if you look under the microscope, you can see the molecule for solid are so rigid, and they all just huddle together, okay? That gives it its own shape. So when they huddle together, they hardly move. So the shape doesn't change because they doesn't move. Just think of it like if you think of ice. You know, ice is so cold, so rigid. When you're cold, you don't want to move solid, okay? So let's explore another state of matter, liquid. So liquid, it takes the shape of the container. You can feel it. You can see it. But... It does not have its own shape. So if you look at vinegar, vinegar takes up the shape of this container. Okay, so if I pull this vinegar into this bowl, it will take the shape of this bowl, okay? Paint, so Liam's paint, okay? He was doing some painting. So the paint takes the shape of this container. So if I pull this paint into his, he has his little, artist tray thing and the, the paint takes the space the, the 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 shape of whatever um the container is okay that's liquid and liquid molecule if you look under the microscope or well, microscope the molecules are a little bit further apart. So they more flowing. So when you think of liquid, you think about flowing. They more flowing, okay? Liquid molecules. And let's look at gas, okay? You, gas is all around us. Can you see gas? No. So how can you tell gas exists? Okay, let's look at, well, it was windy earlier, so I can see gas exists. But if you see the trees, if the tree's moving, that's the, you can feel gas. Now take a deep breath. What are you breathing in? Gas. Can you see it? No. Put your hand on your chest and breathe in. What do you feel? Your chest raised, right? That's because your lung capture all the air that you breathe in, and your lung actually expands. Well, your lungs it. You have two lungs. You, your lungs expand when you breathe in. So you get, you're getting gas in. But there's, an, there's several gas that you can actually see. I had it earlier in this fire pit. If you have a pipe, fire pit at home, okay? So what happens when something's burning? What do you see? Okay, it was working earlier and that thing was so windy. What do you see right there? Don't try this without an adult, okay? So you see smoke, right? So that's visible gas. So we do have gas that, some of the gas are visible and some of the gas are not. Mm. Let's look at, I found Liam balloon. So when you blow into the balloon, you're actually blowing gas and the gas, it takes up 
space off the container as well, which is the balloon. Mm, I can't find Liam's balloon. I had it early. Oh, it's right there. So we have Liam's balloon right here. And I blew air into it yesterday from my lung. So that's gas. Okay, so gas molecule of everywhere. They just bouncing off. They very far apart and bouncing off everywhere. Okay, so a lot, most gas you can't see, but some gas you can see. Just as that smoke, it's a visible gas. All right, now let's look at for today's experiment. You would need vinegar. Okay, like I said, baking soda. Okay, food coloring. Food coloring is also liquid. Okay, it's optional, but you want it to make the vinegar your 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 experiment to look colorful so you can use some food coloring it's not necessary we are going to to combine solid which is baking soda right it is a solid it doesn't change shape okay a liquid which is vinegar and we are going to create a chemical reaction between these two okay and it's supposed to produce gas okay so when these two combine what do you think gonna happen I just Pause the video and write out what do you think gonna happen. Okay, and then we are going to see what's gonna happen when we do that. Okay, I already have my pre made um, here. So I have a Ziploc bag. You need a Ziploc bag. Okay, you pour some sugar, some vinegar into your bag, maybe one third of the bag. Okay, don't feel too much. And then you twist the bag and then you put two spoons of baking soda. I use two spoons of baking soda into the top part. Clo twist the bag, close it with a clothespin, or I have a chip clip here. And I clip it so you don't um, um, you don't combine them yet. We're not gonna combine them yet. And then close. Make sure you close the Ziploc bag really well. Okay. Okay. We are demonstrating. If we combine these two, right now, there's plenty of space in this Ziploc bag. You agree? Okay. There's plenty of space. So, what do you think going to happen? Okay. And the Ziploc bag is closed up really tightly, nicely. So, it's, you know, these two components are completely inside of the bag. Okay. What do you think happened when I take off this soda and a vinegar okay let's find out what's gonna happen okay make sure this is kind of move away from your things you don't make a mess okay all right let's see what's gonna happen I'm gonna remove my clip okay and combine baking soda and vinegar and observe what will happen with this bag Let's see what's gonna happen. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> it's actually explode. What happened? So the bag has had exploded. Okay. So what the re the chemical reaction just happened with the baking soda and the vinegar has created gas. Okay, and the gas was pushing on the Ziploc bag. If you see, it was blowing up like a balloon and eventually it ran out of space. So what happened? It exploded. Just like the balloon. If you keep blowing air into a balloon, it would explode. So, liquid, solid, combined, take less space than gas. <laughs> but does it work with every solid and liquid? Think about it for a few minutes take a moment and think about it for a minute or you can just test it out combine some different kind of solid and liquid to see if you get the same reaction just the same reaction as um this this is like if you try drink baking soda so that carbon dioxide that the vinegar and uh, the chemical reaction created carbon dioxide um it's like carbonate water or ca carbonate gas this is when you drink your baking soda um that's the gas that was taking up space in the ziploc bag 
and cause the Ziploc bag to explode. Because it's the capacity, the capacity means the, the, the ability for a matter that, that each container can hold, the capacity. So this, the capacity for the gas, which is too much, that's why the Ziploc bag explodes. Have fun. If you guys want to uh, test around to see if you can find something else that actually works or not work, and share with us on uh, YouTube. And also, I want you today to practice um, solid, liquid, and gas in real life. My gas is, my visible gas is still going. Um, just look around your backyard, front yard, um, inside your house, and just list a few solid, liquid, and gas uh, under the comments or take a picture of your list and send it to your teacher and and let us know if you try out this experiment actually i'm gone i am going to show you the page that i did okay so that you guys can if you want to you can pause the video okay do a screenshot okay this is these are the ingredients So you guys can just, you don't have to do just one Ziploc bag. You can do plenty to make it fun. I'm going to do this with Liam later. Okay, have fun. See you guys next week. Bye.